Hello, it's Nico here from the review, anime review, and today we're reviewing Inuyasha Season 4. Yeah, I meant to do this a while ago, but I just finished Season today. So, I just finished Season 3, like, a while ago, and I just been watching Season 4, I forgot to do the review on it, so, my bad. <laughs> but, yeah, Season 4, um... That was totally wicked, yeah. Season 4 is peak in Yasha, like, it is not top in Season 4. How do you top that? I know there's like a couple more seasons left, but oh my god, Season 4 is, of Inyasha is amazing. It is perfect down to every last season. Like, the character development in this season is amazing. The stuff that Inyasha has to go through with the Band of Seven. Oh, speak of the Band of Seven. Holy shit, what a fucking villain. What a fucking villain. What a fucking villain group to be terrified of. Like, these guys are terrifying. Like, not... Let's put it like this. Not gonna have to get these guys to get... Um... Inyasha and the group off their back. That's pretty terrifying. And these guys are no joke. When they're popping up screen, they are no joke. They are nothing to be messed with. These guys are terror. Like, be legit. One of them poison gas the entire Kugome, Moku, and Sango. And they, they legit died. They legit died. And had to be revived. And the only way this have, and the only reason why they are still alive. It's because Mioga um, sucked up all the poison out of them. Part convenience, I guess. <laughs> but just imagine, they almost died. They almost fucking died by the band uh, from one of the bands of seven. Jeez, fucking Christ. And the states are up. Without no walking around, more demons are around hunting them down. And yeah. And not that much pieces made. Like, yeah. Especially with the Band of Seven. The Band of Seven are the most threatening villains in all of anime ever. Proceed to man. They made the Akatsis look like nothing. Made them look like funny guys. But these guys are no joke. Neither one of them are nice. Or well, several one. Being the Doc. Being the Doc. Um, I forgot his name. Dr. Kunwu. I'm sorry, most of these men's seminal names are hard to pronounce, so I'm just going to call them the guy with the big sword, the guy with the fire, the tank guy, and um, the guy with the snake sword. But I don't know how to pronounce the names, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know, fandom, I don't know how to pronounce... It's not my fault, I can't remember the names, is that the names are hard to pronounce. I'm not going to remember how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to remember to pronounce the names, and the names are so... It's my dyslexia, okay? Forgive me. I have dyslexia, and it's... I have trouble reading, and trouble pronouncing names, so forgive me. Yeah. That, and I got speech prepared, so it's hard for me to pronounce these names. So, yeah. My bad, I can't pronounce these names. But these guys are threatening. Like they're so cool and threatening. Like tank dude literally wipes the floor with Inyasha. Inyasha, like this guy's a fucking tank. Like he literally almost he injures Kilala, almost kills Sango, Kyoko Sango. Moku and Kagome. And one of the Band of Seven literally almost burns them alive while they're infected with the poison. And like one of the Band of Seven gave them. These guys are no joke. These guys are no fucking joke. These are the guys you do not want to mess with. These are the guys you do not want to see on your way to school or way to work. Because these guys are mess, you know, no joke. You do not want to mess with these guys. You do not want to mess with these guys. 
These guys are no joke. These are no joke. These guys are no joke. Like, come on. They're just not. Just don't even bother mess with them. These guys are no joke. Like, come on. What are you going to do with these guys? These guys are no joke. Like, come on. Yeah. And what is Nwaku doing this entire... Yeah. Also, I should probably mention, this is season has no Nwaku in it. Yeah. No Nwaku. 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 Nwaku, yeah. Nwaku. No season with Nwaku. Yep. This entire season has no Nwaku, and it ends up being the best season ever. <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? Yes, yeah, so there are the bees. It's sort of lose Nwaku. But that's about it. There's a cameo of Nwaku in a dream of Kagome, but that's about it. That's all you're going to get of Naku this season. Because Naku is completely gone from this season. He is not in this season whatsoever. Literally, Naku has to send the band seven just to keep them off Naku's back. Like, that's intimidating. Like, what is Naku doing? <sighs> he must be going through some ultra transformation right now because, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't be imagining what he's doing right now. But if the band of seven or this tough to deal with, I'm just wondering how hard Naku is to deal with. Like, man, the band of seven or the most threatening villains in this show. They have the are the most threatening villains in this show so far. Like each of them are hard to deal with, and you need like more than one person to just take him out. The only one who, the only guy who managed to take out one of the band of seven by him, two, two people who managed to take him out are Koga and Susomu. They managed, Koga managed to take out one of the band of seven by ripping out the uh, sacred jewel out of his head and taking it out. Fatality move, more combat style, and uh, Susomu just. Well, does show me does vets and kill the smoke guy, the poison guy. But yeah, these guys are no joke. These guys are no joke. There's so five left. There's so five of these guys left. And they're only looking down two. These guys are no fucking joke. You do not want to mess with these guys. And Inuyasha literally cried seeing Gagome alive. Yeah. The band of seven made Inuyasha cry. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This season's probably 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Right out of the gate. One of the best seasons so far. It made seasons 1, 2, 3 look like nothing. This season is easy. One of the best seasons out there. It's peak. It's peak. It's peak season. Like, come on. There's no topping this season. Like, come on. You really think you're going to top this season? Do you really think you're going to top this season? How are you going to top this season? Come on. Come on. Let's get to the... Come on. Come on. How are you going to top this season? How are you going to top this goddamn season? I guess I'm going to find out in season five, but, um, yeah. Man. I think... Uh, man. This season is amazing. Like... The stakes, the character development, there is everything in this season. This season's action packed. It's so goddamn good. <laughs> but with that said, this is Santa Claus sign off. And remember, stay big, Inyasha fans. See you in the next one. Bye bye.